This year, News Channel 34 is honoring black history by taking inspiration from the classic book of poetry by Maya Angelou titled, And Still I Rise. Nicole Somavilla of our sister station in Syracuse introduces us to a woman who's not afraid to make people uncomfortable as she breaks barriers. I want to build my own last name so my children can have generational wealth. The organizations that I work for have a lot of cars, they have a lot of weight, and they have to move slower. And change moves slower when they have a lot of people on board, but as just one person, I can make change much faster. The change Ali Smith is talking about is the inequality that ricochets through American institutions and what she saw built into the foundation of CrossFit. You may remember the company came under fire last June after the CEO's racial tweets following the murder of George Floyd. He'd quickly resign and Allie would start her own gym a month later. When you start looking at racial discrimination and inequality, it comes down to where I spend my time, where I spend my money, um, who I give my money to. And within CrossFit, it was being spread unevenly and on purpose. Inside these walls, there's a different message. Resist, reclaim, rewrite. Resist is resisting the narratives that people gave you. Reclaiming is reclaiming your time. Rewriting is you rewriting your story. So it's what do I want to rewrite for myself that I've never thought about before. For Allie, it's opening her own gym. It's doing something without letting anyone else tell her it doesn't fit a mold. If you're young and you're a black man or woman and you create a toothpaste, I'm gonna buy your toothpaste because lots of things in this world weren't created for me. And I would like to try something that was. Breaking bars. Setting an example for our youngest dreamers and inspiring and empowering them to aim for the stars. I feel like I'm connecting more than I'm breaking. Resist, reclaim, rewrite, and teach the next generation to take back what's theirs. If you want to train with me, be prepared to be uncomfortable. Because change in and out of the gym only happens outside your comfort zone. In Syracuse, Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 34.